What's going on guys? Welcome back to Money TV. I'm Money and we're talking Euro 2020. I'm going to be previewing some of the strongest quads in the tournament and we're going to be taking a look at France. So let's get into it. So obviously France are the heavy favorites going into this tournament and it's very easy to see why. Their squad is just stacked from bottom to top, top to bottom, whatever way you want to think about it. And it is so stacked that players like Imeric Laporte, who has to look for a new country to play for and has moved to Spain and has made the main Spain squad. So you could just see the amount of depth they have uh, in this squad. And uh, it got even deeper when uh, there was a shock inclusion of Karim Benzema back in to the French national squad. And he's been out for about five years due to the whole, you know, um, not working out with the Shams or having you know, off the pitch problems and all kinds of stuff with teammates. But apparently everything is, you know, water under the bridge and everything is uh, cheery now. And he's back into the squad. France have a real number nine now, and they are looking even stronger as if that was possible. So Benzema was coming off of a great season with Real Madrid, having scored 27 goals in all comps. And uh, I think he's going to add a huge, huge boost to France. Um, and obviously they have amazing players all around the pitch. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's, let's actually take a look at the squad now and see who they got. So the 26 man squad that's been announced by Didier Deschamps uh, is, is, is right there for you to see. Uh, as you can see, Karen Benzema is included. They have just a plethora of, of talent. Obviously you have, you know, solid Hugo Lloris in goal. I have Varane, Koundé, uh, Pavard all coming into the back line. Solid, very, very good defensive players. Obviously you have Pogba and Conte in the middle of the park, which is probably like the best midfield combo you can probably get and Golo Conte coming off of a fantastic season with Chelsea um, he's going to be looking to do well with France as well to get his name in for a Ballon d'Or shout so we'll see how uh, he does he's going to be a pivotal part of this team and up front obviously you have Mbappe you have Griezmann you have uh, Benzema now and then obviously uh, you have the 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 Auxiliary players like Coleman, you have, you have Giroud, all kinds of players like Dembele can just cause all kinds of riots. Um, so man, this this squad is looking so so uh, so stacked, and I really can't <laughs> fault them for any. I can't even see any 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 weaknesses whatsoever. So man, these these guys are gonna have a, a good time uh, in this tournament. Let's take a look at their group, the group of death, and see how they might fare. So obviously they're in the group of death with Germany, Hungary, and Portugal. We already talked about Portugal in an earlier video. Uh, if you have not seen that, go check it out. And uh, th this is the group of death. Obviously it's gonna be very tight. These teams are all very good. The most important game for France is obviously probably going to be against Portugal because they're just as you know, they have just as strong players in the squad and it's going to be an interesting battle to see. Um, Germany, unfortunately, I, have, I don't see them being able to compete with, 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 this, uh, with this France squad and then we'll get to Germany in their video. Um, but um, overall, I see France doing very well in this uh, group, most likely leaving it either first or second with Portugal, you know, depending on how things go. And I'm looking to France to go very far into the tournament um, and honestly, probably win it because that squad is just freaking unreal. So that's the group of death. Um, uh, let's talk about France a bit. So France, obviously, they're led by Didier Deschamps, who is a manager. I don't necessarily rate that much, I guess, or, you know, think that maybe France needed someone who would make them even more dominant than they are because they really have the squad to just annihilate everybody out of the pitch, to be honest with you. But one thing that I can commend the Champs for is creating a sort of harmony or creating a sort of bond or chemistry among this team. You know, I've been watching a lot of their, you know, like training videos and like inside their camp and stuff. And it looks like a really 
close-knit group of players everybody is really like friendly with friends with each other and they all have a great camaraderie going on and i think that's probably the biggest task for an international manager to create an environment where these already fantastic players can continue to uh, you know perform and bring the the same levels as you know we're used to seeing you know at their clubs so i think the dear Deschamps has created a great great energy there and a great atmosphere that should definitely push france very very far in this tournament if not winning it i mean for sure so they're definitely going to have a great euros they're going to be a team to watch out for and i think that their players are going to do a madness in certain games so definitely watch out for that but that's it for france thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell notification button so you know exactly when i upload and look out for my other previews coming out very soon thank you so much take care bye, -bye.